Hello, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how you can access the glyphs that come in certain fonts. So those are like the fancy swooshes and curls and extra things that really make your design pop. So I'm going to show you how to do that here in Adobe Illustrator. So let me highlight this and make it a little bit smaller and pull it over to the side. There we go. And then that way we have a little space to work. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the left-hand side and I'm going to click on my type tool. And then I'm going to type out whatever it is I want to say with my design. So for this example, I'm just saying, hello, dear. Okay, now the font that I'm using is called Samantha Upright Bold. This font has tons of these um, extras that come with it and you can do so many beautiful things with it. Um, so let me show you how though you can see those because when you first type it out it looks like well I have none of these extra little curls. Where do they go? So let me show you how to do that. The first way, there's two ways. In Adobe Illustrator there's always more than one way to do something. So the very first way is you can highlight the letter that you want and what will happen is a little bar will show up down here that shows you some of those options. Now for this particular font there's so many options. You can click on this arrow. An entire screen will show up over here on the side that gives you um, all of the alternates. So you can kind of just double click as your letter is still highlighted and it will switch between all of the different options that you can use for that particular letter. Okay, so um, it's kind of fun. You can just use, go through, pick out which one you like, and we're just going to use that one for today. Um, but you can go through and you can see for this particular letter all the different options. So let's, let me show you that one more time. So I can highlight the letter, and then over here, automatically, all of the extra little characters that come with that letter will pop up over here on the side. So, and all you have to do is just double click and the options will show up for you, okay? Um, and then you just kind of go through and you pick out which one you think looks the best, okay? Now, another option is if for some reason this little bar is not popping up, let's close this window. Another way that you can get to the glyphs for a particular font here in Adobe Illustrator is I can click on Type and I can go to glyphs. Now, when I do that, I'm going to make sure that down here that my font that I'm currently using is selected, and then I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna say entire font. And now, this shows me the entire font and all of the options that I have with that font. So what I can do is I can click on um, my D, highlight my D, and then I can go right over here and it will automatically jump to all the lowercase d's and it will give me all of the options for those particular d's. And you can just kind of, um, you know, go crazy here on changing them out. And you can, you want to kind of keep that highlighted as you're um, switching them out, but you just double click on them and that adjusts that letter for you. So let's do the same thing with the R. Immediately it jumps down to where the R is in the menu. I'm going to scroll down and then I'm going to select, um, it doesn't really matter which R, you just kind of can go through, um, but you'll notice unless you have it continue to be highlighted, it will add an additional letter on there when you double click on it. Okay, so you just highlight the letter and then come over here and you can, and you can make this menu bigger if you want to be able to see more at one time, um, that's an option as well. Okay, um, so from there, let me find one that has, I mean, you could make it super fancy if you want. Um, let's pick one of these that I had. So let's just go with this one. And then actually that one has, I want to make sure it connects right there. So I like this one because that one will connect. And then I have one more thing that I want to do. So before I do that though, I want to add a little design here in the middle. So let me show you how I can arrange these. So once I have my particular alternates picked out that I want, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on my selection tool so that my font is my now selected. And I'm going to go to type create outlines. And now I can no longer change the font. Um, I can no longer change the alternates. It's kind of locked into place. And then I'm going to say ungroup. 
And now each one of these letters, I can go in and individually adjust. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make this one a little bit bigger. Kind of, um, this is where the real fun designing part comes in, where you can kind of adjust and design and put your own spin on how you want your words and your letters arranged. And so I kind of like the way that these two fit together like this. And so now um, there's kind of a hole right here. And so when we're looking at this, what we want to do is we want to find, is there another sort of design element that we can put here to be able to finish off this um, beautiful piece of art with that font. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my text box and I'm just going to click on my text box so that some letters come up and then I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to go to type glyphs and I'm going to pull up um, entire font and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my entire font. And at the very bottom, you'll see, let me make it a little smaller so you guys can see this a little more clearly. Right here, um, these are all the extra little dots and lines and strokes and things like that that I can put there in my design um, to finish it off that match that same font style. So, um, you know, I can put something like this. That's really beautiful. Um, the one I used before was this. And you just double click and then it will pop up right there on your design. Okay. And so I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to use this one for now. And then I'm going to go back and do the same thing where I push my selection tool, type create outlines and then I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller so that it fits in nicely into that space there and now I have this beautiful design that has a bunch of extras on there that don't necessarily just show up when I'm typing out the font. Now one more thing I need to do before I save this is notice how these are overlapping. Each one of those letters are overlapping. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to unite those letters together so that when they cut with my cutting machine, they're not each cutting individually. So I'm going to go ahead and unite those. And now, um, if I want to make these um, a compound path, I can, but I don't have to. Um, and then it's ready for me to save. So that is how you are able to access the glyphs here in Adobe Illustrator. And I can't wait to see what types of beautiful designs you create um, using glyphs from your fonts. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you back next time. Bye.